Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Vigilant. It's time for us to go inside. I know we're a ragtag group, but we each believe in good over evil. This is my penance to be reduced to an ordinary vigilant of Stendar. My knight, my paladin, armor has been removed. I'm just normal now, and I must earn the favor of Stendar and the rank of knight paladin. Let's go. Oh, well, <clears throat> it seems that our investigation is over. <laughs> like, you men look like Let's you're ready to leave. <laughs> Why are you making me nervous? Come on. Let's do a proper investigation. here on the quest of the Way of the Nine. So let's make sure we complete it. What? Those ghosts, they were just destroyed. I didn't come here for a fight. Then you are still too late, and too stupid to comprehend why. They are one and the same. Or have you come to sharpen your fangs? In that case, the blades you seek are not here either. What is this place? A sanctuary for the ghosts of the Akavir. My mentor once spoke of it in passing. Now all those ghosts have passed. It seems one of these ghosts was a greedy one. He had two legendary blades, a way where the others would be blind to his duplicity. And why are you here? Why else, imbecile? To hunt my old mentor. Yet he continues to elude me. As does his stance. <laughs> so, you can't even learn one simple stance. Who's the imbecile now? Clearly it is the one who challenges me. Is it bravado or foolishness? Our time will come, when my mentor comes first. Tell me about these swords you seek. One is as light as a feather, and as fast as the arrow it fletches. Its edge doesn't appear to be as fine, but that's deliberate. A light blade with an edge is brittle, and this sword is as sturdy as it is swift. The other... Is as sharp and as piercing as a confession. Heavy for an Akaviri sword. Blade meant to ward off blows and strike with force. Both are life and death incarnate. One knows not which role they play. These are the perfect weapons to slay my mentor 
once more. Hmm. Do you mind... <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you mind if I speak to the priest? Not at all. Speak with your equal, Patron Bozogyan. I have two swords to fetch. Speak. I thought you had swords to fetch. Hey, stay quiet and follow me. What is it? What? Are you all right? Did you see that? Are you a ghost? I'm still here. You have arrived at last. He is. Do not be alarmed. This pilgrim gave his body in service to the gods, as was his desire. So you possessed a living body. Incredible. And with my insight, I see you was almost human. So what do you mean he gave his body? In that final days, many pilgrims come to sacred crypts such as this one, in hopes of redeeming themselves from a life of sin. They offer their bodies to the ghosts that own these halls so together they may find absolution. You said I arrived at last. Were you expecting me? I have. Ever since my death, I have been waiting for you to come. Waiting for a sign. Then today, you enter on the heels of my pupil. This is no coincidence. Truly, the gods are great. I'd like to say the gods had nothing to do with it, that I came here on my own, but I do believe that higher powers often manipulate our moves behind the scenes. That is where you are mistaken, young disciple. The gods have a hand in all things, yes. for all things were made by the hands of the gods. You remind me of her. She did not heed the teachings of the divines. And now she pays the price. Forgive me, where are my manners? My name is Garrett. I am Zavashni's former master. I gathered a that. steward of the way of the Nine. So what exactly is this place? Who can say? It belonged to the Needs at one point, and the Akavir at another. As such, the ghosts of Atmora and Akavir roam these halls. It is the latter with which my pupil has quarrel. She thinks that facing me once more would afford her a second opportunity to learn the stance of Arke. Is she right? Yes and no. Technically, it will grant her the opportunity she desires. Yet, without faith, even a million opportunities are as good as none. The stance of R.K. is based on instinct and flow and the rivers of life and death. It cannot be understood without first understanding the gods. Why did Shavashni fail to inherit the way of the Nine? The Eight came easily enough. It is the Ninth that eludes her. And it is little mystery why. Contrary to her belief, it is not about whether one can overcome their fear of death, 
nor is it about embracing fear in order to value one's life. If it were derived from such platitudes, no doubt she would have long since mastered it already. No, the stance of our is a technique that requires an understanding of the divines. You see, everything from the air we breathe to the ground under our feet is governed by Arche's influence. In combat, the rivers of life and death flow into a single current, and only one who yields to Arche's will can know where they part. Savashni thinks of the religious and the practical as two separate plays. At no point did she consider they can be wielded as one. Hmm. I am curious, how does a ghost possess the living? It may sound impossible, and to my pupil, that made it so. Still, one who understands how Arcade commands life and death knows the two states are nearly identical. Hmm. However, the gap between us cannot be crossed by one side alone. It requires two willing partners to bridge. All right, I have no more questions. What is it that you ask of me? To end the life of my disciple, and to demonstrate to her the power of the divines. To accomplish that, you must endure what she would not. Only through the pilgrimage of the divines can you prove your worth. When you have walked the supplicant's road, then you will be ready to inherit the stance of Arcae. Hmm. So, your goal is to humiliate her? She humiliates herself with her refusal of the gods. This is their retribution. Hmm. Shavashni said that the stance of Arke must be passed on through single combat. Yes, life and death, the duality of nature, all is expressed in a fateful battle between master and pupil. This is a road you too must walk, but you do not have to walk it alone. There is a way to hasten the process. It involves receiving the blessing of eight warriors, who embody the spirit of the remaining eight divines. Together you will be able to see the rivers of life and death flow through your stars, but only as long as the nine of us are bound to your will. Such is the consequence of shortcuts, but we do not have the time for the long road. All right. How do I walk the supplicant's road? First, you must find a brute of Talos, a warrior whose very breath is a declaration of war. Second, the embrace of Mara, only one who fights for love will burn the embers. Third, the mercy of Stendar, claim the warrior whose very weapon is forbearance. Fourth, the tear of Kinnereth. Seeks the one who walks amongst the beasts and gives life to the soil. Fifth, a mind of Julianos. Only one whose intellect is sharp as my blade will pass this test. Sixth, a mark of Debella. Find one whose beauty is profound enough to melt a heart of steel. Seventh, a scale of Zenithar. Seek the aid of one who fights for coin and tip the scales toward your victory. Lastly, the judge of Akatosh, only a warrior who claims lordship over the realm of time, will light the path. When you have been blessed by eight who are worthy, and the eight flames are lit, then I will stand as the ninth. Now 
Go, my young disciple, and keep the gods in your heart. It's quite a tall order. Look at this. Dwarven Helmet of the Undying. Can I help you? Oh, let's go. We have our work. At least I have my work cut out for me. Until we meet again. All right, I don't know you well enough among the hist, but let me give this armor to. Atar. Can I help you? Yes. I need to trade what some do you things need to with take? you. I'm not taking anything. the glass no you can't wear the glass armor let me know if All you right. need anything <laughs> yes let's go and I know better now to give it to uh, the Argonian I don't want him wearing glass armor why is this so treacherous here. I suppose I shouldn't be walking through that water. All right, well, that was not as confrontational as I thought it might be. Let's look at the map and see where are we going to find all of these things. Hmm, the Temple of Mara. And the Shrine to Talos. Alright, let's head there now. Yes. yes? How may I help you, my son? Hello, friend. Make it quick. Hello. Excuse me. Oh, praise joy be to Mara. You with child, Death to they those who turn away from her happen. embrace. But Mara has... All right. Mara is the divine mother of agriculture, fertility, and compassion, and mother cat to the Khajiit. A follower can pray to remove diseases and poisons. The tenants to be married, own one or more houses, be generous to beggars and children, receive the blessing of lover's comfort, never openly break the laws of Skyrim. I'm sorry, Mara. I'm going to continue to fo follow Stendar at this time. Not their mistake. And to think I was wandering the ash waste so, years ago. So, I never knew my path. The temple. You look more like an assassin than a devotee. Maybe. always meant to be here. But the two aren't mutually exclusive. Then I thank Lady Mara with all my heart. And again, I must say, if I didn't know better, I'd say that you were an assassin. Possibly. Not every whisper comes from the Brotherhood's lips. 
Not all the Void's children pray to Sithis. Do you seek my services? First, one must speak a name. Okay, I'm not sure what, uh, I'm not trying to hire you, but are you saying that if I speak a name, you will kill the person? No. A name is spoken. Then a crime is named. If I deem your cause worthy, then I act. I see. What sort of crimes justify a kill? I have a code, like most. Many whisper the name of an abusive spouse or a cheating one. They come to the temple and seek my ear. They pray to Mara, but they speak to me. Are you paid for these services? Perhaps. <laughs> but the temple cannot function without donations. Nor can I. Why do you do this? What made you an assassin? Maybe I enjoy it. <laughs> Duty and love are at times one and the same. Hmm. From where do you hail? Here. The orphanage in Riften. Really? Although, rarely do I ever get a chance to come home. <laughs> so what are you doing in Riften? I have come to pray, and ask for forgiveness. I have killed in Mara's name, slain those who have broken the sacred vow. If I have erred in doing so, I ask Mara for her mercy. <coughs> Would you lend your service to Mara in another capacity? I'll consider it. But if it's passing out Dinya's letters, then rest assured, I already do. Ah, well good on you. I am on a pilgrimage to gather blessings from those who serve the divines. Then perhaps you are the forgiveness I seek. Very well. I will help you on your pilgrimage. All I need is your blessing, nothing more. Understood. Mara, protect us both. Good to see Mara upon you. All right, I've received Mara's blessing. Make it quick. It's time for us to yes. go. There's Shrine of T oh boy, here we go. Someone do something. Oh, we had a cur wait, that sounds like vampires. Come on. Enough. And gargoyles. I consecrate the ground. Get her! Or him! Alright, it's done. By Stendar's might, it is done. The suffering the Daedra cause will not go unpunished. Stendar's mercy be upon you, for the vigil has deliver. none to Your spare. All right, what Let's is it, Courier? It. Looks like that's it. Got to go. All right, then. Well, among the hist, you've got your vampires. A traveler, is it? It is done. I won't go back to a monster's I won't. 
Where's the remains of the gargoyle? Huh. Watch what you're doing. All right. Well, nope. I don't. Sorry. Don't Nothing. see the gargoyle. Oh, wait. What's this here? Is this another thief? I tell you, things are really starting to get out of control here in Riften. Vampires and thieves. All right. If I can take a moment to just look at this letter that I've been given. Is this it? This looks like the only thing that's new. Suspicious gray skin? <laughs> to all true sons of Skyrim, the guards don't listen to me. I've told them that one of these those gray skins is up to something. Always heading out to the docks at night, sending signals to her friends in Morrowind, no doubt. Damn darkies. Okay, now this is racist right here. I'm sorry. Are going to overrun the city if we don't stop them. Uh, Rolf Stonefist. Alright, this definitely goes to the bottom of the list. All right, I was going to s visit the Shrine of Talos before we were rudely interrupted. You keep your distance with that magic. All right. Is it you that I need Hellion, to speak with? Destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe, isn't it? it was my wife. Yes. What can you tell me about Talos? He's the protector of man, the dragon of the north, the patron of all Nords. And despite the Imperials and their treaty, he will always be one of the Nine Divines. A devout Nord would rather fall in battle and have his blood spill upon the earth than allow the Empire to strike his name from the divinity. Why all the hatred for the Empire? Talos is part of our culture. He's part of our heritage and our tradition. He's Skyrim personified. To suddenly have all that wrenched away is like losing someone you hold dearly in your heart. The Empire already took my daughter from us. But by Talos, they will not take our homeland. What happened to your daughter? I trained our daughter Lilia as a healer, to one day tend the Shrine of Talos and replace me as a priestess of Talos. When the fighting began over the White Gold Concordat, she ran off to join the Stormcloaks. She had her father's fire, how could I say no? She died out there, only having tended to the wounded soldiers for a few months. We never even found her body. The Empire burned all the dead. I'm sorry. Talos preserve you. And you as well. So this is not the right location. The Mark of Debello. I thought that we had Talos as well. All right, I suppose it was only Mara. Oh wait, what's this? Assist the Vigilant of Stendar. Elder Gleam. Is that where we would find the Mark of Debella? Alright, we're gonna go here first and then we'll return and see what this, the Vigilant need. Well, what do you know? My path leads me back here to you. How can I help you? <laughs> Do you need something? Items? Potions? Hugs? I've got it all. 
Would you speak for Debella in a trial of the Nine Divines? That sounds vital. And Debella has chosen me to be her champion? What an honor! I'll need to get my hair done and my armor polished. I need to look my best. Oh gods, what if my best isn't good enough? What if there's someone else prettier? What do the others look like? <laughs> it's not a contest of beauty. I'm a soldier of Debella. Everything is about beauty. What will they say if I'm uglier than Mara? Uh. You're always welcome to follow. But right now what I need is your blessing. Okay, I accept on both counts. Just say the word and I'm right behind you. Alright, so if I were to follow Debella, the goddess of beauty and love, she inspires mortals to create art and engage in passionate love. The follower would have improved skills while affected by lover's comfort. The tenants are to persuade others to receive the blessing of lover's comfort to find a new sibyl for her temple to pray only in the nude. Never openly break the laws of Skyrim. All right. Thank you. Farewell. Farewell. Welcome to Elder Gleam Sanctuary, my friend. If you have any questions, don't worry about me. To ask. I don't need a break. Thank you. All right, we need to go. We've got two of the marks, two of the blessings. Let's get going. All right. I think it's time for us to take a a break. I'm here and to help. rest, and then we need to go and visit the remaining vigilant. Let's head back. Oh wow, there's there are things everywhere. <laughs> but we're gonna head back to the Dragonborn Gallery. We also need to get you upgraded among the hist. One of these days that name will stick with me. But all right, let me take you all to our new Hall of the Vigilant. Paladin Cyrus, good to see you. I've brought with me a new recruit among the hist. For you, friend. He will be joining our order, and of course, Need something. Of course, you know going? the executioner that you've assigned to me. I'm here to help. All right, all right, among the hist. If you could come in here. I do have vigilant uh, attire that you can wear. Let's get you situated for our war with the vampires.